right, so first I'd like to start off by saying, once again, that my burden is to prove that Justin Bieber had generated revenue for the economy. By that, that would satisfy my value of economic success. Now, going down, I just made a few calculations. I said that Bieber sold 1 million, 1 million albums for My World, 2 million albums for My World 2.0, and 1 million albums for Never Seen Never, the remixes. Now, let's assume it costs $8 to buy an album. That's probably on the low side, but we'll take it. That means albums alone, he's generated on the low side $32 million of revenue right there. He's generated, let's take the meeting between me and Ali's statistics, $40 million in concerts, and he generates who knows how much how much money from YouTube because of the fact that there's so many videos with him in it, I can't calculate how much. And then, Ali merely argues that, oh yeah, it's not a significant amount. Let me tell you something, and you're going to enjoy this, Sam. The resolution clearly states, resolve, that Justin Bieber has improved the music industry. Nothing about substantial improvement, nothing about significant improvement, just about he's improved the music industry. That means that I have to prove that Justin Bieber has generated revenue for the music industry. He's generated over a hundred million dollars for the music industry when you add his concerts, his YouTube videos, and his his albums. And just Ali saying that's not a significant amount is a moot argument. It's her conceding the fact that he has improved it, he hasn't improved it enough. Now, Moon Knight just says that the, the YouTube videos, the YouTube artist says that the, all the all the money goes to be goes to Bieber. However, she also said that her definition of music industry, as well as mine, is to, all it is, is that, well, a bunch of, of producers and musicians. That's what she said as part of her definition. Bieber is a musician. He is part of the music industry. Therefore, with her definition, when he makes money and when the money goes to him, it goes to the music industry. So, Bieber, with his YouTube videos, is still improving the music industry. And once again, she said, and then she also says that, in this, the music industry is an art, and you, so you can't use it primarily to make money. Okay, I'll use another example. How about for movies? A film is a type of art. I think that Ali would agree with that. There are many sequels that there are many sequels that come out that aren't necessarily good, and they're used exclusively to make money. Well, the sequels are usually worse than the originals because all the director is intending to do is to try and make more money based off the fact that the original was really good. Is it moral? I don't necessarily know. That's debatable. That's for another time. But economically, is it good? Yes. The sequels tend to make a lot more than the original because there's so much hype off the original. So looking at that, it's whether, even though it's still, even though it's an art, at the same time, it's still a business. And with the business, you have to create revenue first. And finally, she also says that the best type, like that, Bieber doesn't produce the best music. How Rebecca Black, how they don't, they produce good music without being recognized. Once again, as I said, you have to look at this from an economical point of view, not from uh, whether they're good or not. Is Bieber a good artist? Maybe, maybe not. I'm not here to proclaim my, my love for him. Or however, however, is he beneficial for a music industry? Yes. He generates a lot of revenue and he inspires other musicians. Remember, look at Bieber through an economic view, not as a musician. Thank you, and never say never, never say never to that baby in the video. <laughs>